Hey, I'm Dave. And I'm Jenny. Thanks so much for joining us again. Uh, we are still building my first boss's first son's first birthday gift, which yes. is a toy box, which I'm building for out of solid wood for the first time. It's a lot of firsts. It is a lot of firsts. And also, we both ended up matching today, not on purpose, but we're both too stubborn to go change. So this is what you're gonna get. Enjoy it, it's cute or something. Last time we left you off, we were gluing up this top panel here. I need to finish chamfering around all the top edges. So I'm gonna grab the router out of the table and we'll meet you back here to route the top of this box. Yes. Okay, so this is the back of the toy box. And so what I'm gonna do now is the lid is gonna be in two parts. The back part of the lid is gonna be actually attached to the box. And then the front part is gonna be on a long piano hinge so it can fold back and forth. So what that means is that I have to rip down one of these boards on the table saw wherever I decide to put the hinge. So I think I'm gonna keep it right in line with this back leg here. So right about here, is where I'm gonna rip it down on the table saw. Before we install this hinge, we really want to get the, the whole box stained and finished. But there's a few more things we need to do before we get to that point. One of those is I want to make a little frame that goes on top of the box in case he puts some toys or something up there so when you lift the lid, they're not all going to just slide off onto the floor. It's just a little bit of stability. It's a nice feature I've seen on some really nice toy chests. So I want to put that in here. So. I'll cut those pieces out, we'll attach them, then we'll disassemble everything, finish it, install the hardware, and then it's ready for delivery. Okay, so I guess we'll just rip this in half on the table. So how, let's make sure we have enough wood first. So, I want them to come out to about here. Okay, yeah. So maybe 16 inches. So 16 and 16 is 32. That's the one. And then from there to there, is another 32. So 64. Do we have 64? I'm pretty sure we do. This is an eight truth. foot. Da, da, 64, we're da, good. Da, okay. Well, actually, even if we had half that, it would still be okay, because we're ripping it right down the middle. So we'd have twice as much stuff. Ruin my song. I was about, had so much suspense. It was like, maybe we won't have 64. But we did. Bandsaw. Say hello, Bandsaw. Something's broke. 
Did you turn it off and turn it back on again? This one. Ow! <laughs> day and everything's officially assembled all the glue is dried so this thing is solid yeah these rails aren't going anywhere so our next step is to get some hardware on this thing we're talking hinges um, that what is that called the assisted the, the lift spring assisted spring assisted lift that's the one um, so we're gonna attach that make sure everything fits and then we're gonna disassemble it and sand it and stain it so we're almost done let's go <laughs> All right, so the types of hardware we're gonna use in this is first is a long piano hinge. This is gonna be for the lid. Uh, they're really strong, there's a ton of holes. You can put this whole bag of screws in this hinge if you want. So we're just gonna have to cut that off with the angle grinder and Jenny's gonna get to use the angle grinder for the first time. So you'll get to see that. And then, because this is gonna be used for little fingers, we don't want them to get smushed when they close the lid. They make these spring-assisted uh, lids, they're called lid supports. Um, they come with zero instruction. They're kind of tricky to install. Um, I don't claim to be an expert. This is not a tutorial, but this is what we're gonna use. We've used them before with pretty decent results. So we have three of them. I think I really only needed two, but we're gonna use three just in case. So that's the hardware we're gonna use. You always want to check out these piano hinges with just a couple different screws because sometimes if you do it and it's not perfectly straight, you won't be able to lift and move the hinge. So if that happens to you, just take a few screws out, get it nice and straight, and then put them back in and then your hinge should move freely. All right, so now that this lid hinge worked out perfectly the first time, which never happens. Uh, cool, we're gonna go ahead and take it apart now that our holes are marked so we know where to drill it back into. And it's time for a good sanding and I think we're gonna call it there for today. Thank you so much for watching, coming along with us. Tomorrow what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish sanding and get it all nice and pretty and then we're gonna stain it and put some top coat on it. So stay tuned for that. Uh, you're gonna watch Jenny, that's her favorite part. That's what she enjoys doing. So you'll get to learn a lot of cool tips from her. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're watching this in the future, the next video is on the screen somewhere. Just click it. All right, that's it. Yeah, we're done. <laughs>